Ashes of Creation could be showing us something they rarely give us in this month's livestream, in-game systems functioning within the world of Vera. Month after month, Intrepid has shown off stuff from the art team, class previews, and things like that, but players have been waiting and asking for more system showcases so we can actually see the game coming together and see Intrepid start to make do on some of those systems that they have promised us from the very beginning. And Intrepid seems to be listening a bit on that as we got the story arc preview a few months ago, going over some of the questing systems, the Cyclops world boss, going over some boss mechanics. But now in June with the Freehold preview, Intrepid could be taking it to the next level. Freeholds are not just about housing. They have numerous components tied into them, mainly focusing on the artisan system route, from gathering systems such as taming and fishing, to processing such as animal husbandry, and so much more. And if Intrepid is truly giving us a freehold showcase, we should be seeing a good part of these functioning within the game, especially with crafting. Crafting alone is a huge component to any MMORPG, and something that Intrepid has been teasing a bit since the UI showcase and Margaret mentioning gathering assets being implemented in the last stream, so there is a very good chance that this freehold showcase isn't just Steven walking around looking at furniture. I don't imagine we will get a whole crafting showcase from this, but Intrepid is in the perfect position to show us a tease of how these things are coming together. As we know from the UI stream, crafting is implemented into the game in some fashion. We also know that some of the gathering has been in for a while, as last year we got Steven chopping down trees, gathering up some fruit along with showing us these seasonal impacts on gathering so it's really hard to say what intrepid is going to show us in regards to crafting as we continue towards alpha 2 but besides nodes crafting is by far one of my most anticipated features that i want to see and i know i'm not alone on that the ashes of creation hype has been pretty stagnant for the last few months and the second half of the year should be made for hyping people up again for the testing that is supposedly beginning at the end of the year even if it starts out with internal testing the more the more hype we build towards Alpha 2, the better. And the best way for Intrepid to do this is to kick off a massive stream showing everything the Freehold has to offer, and leading the summer up with potentially naval and nodes and the summoner and bard, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. As I said, there is a lot of potential that Freeholds can give us in a stream showcase. Freeholds must be placed within a Village Stage 3 node or higher, meaning there is a chance, even a very small chance, this stream could start out in or near a node, and seeing how the placement of the system works will be a huge reveal for this system if it's something that Intrepid shows. And hopefully it's not just a Freehold already placed there that they're exploring, and we actually get to see how these systems come together. Then there is the Housing System attached, which in Alpha 1 we had houses but we couldn't do anything with them. We couldn't place furniture or move things around or decorate them. All we could do is buy them and then say they were our own but anybody could even just walk through the door and catch us doing house things. I don't even know. So a freehold showcase also grants the potential to see some updated housing elements such as furniture placement and how you can customize your house and all of that. Freeholds are also where players can place their own inns and taverns, so there's potential to learn more about that as well. They're home to these stables, which play a huge role in the animal husbandry system, such as breeding, mounts, and livestock found within the world. This has been teased a lot the last couple years, with us getting glimpses of how the customization of these animals will look, and a look at some rare mounts, and a lot more. So I am really anticipating the veil to be lifted on this system within the Freehold Showcase. Freeholds can also place blacksmiths, which you could tie into the blacksmithing UI that we had few months ago. They can also place fisheries, forages, farms, guild halls, homesteads, lumber yards, mills, shrines, and the stables that I just mentioned. And you also have the ability to hire your own NPCs on your freehold that can help rotate your crops with farming, sell items for you, and do various other tasks within your freehold. There is so much to this system that really can branch out into many different aspects of Ashes of Creation, along with opening up the opportunity to show us a bunch of professions that we have not seen yet. Yet. But honestly, we haven't really seen any professions outside of your basic armor and weaponsmithing and alchemy in Alpha 1, which were not even really, they don't count. They were like placeholder professions. But the biggest thing that we could learn from this live stream is about freehold building skins. Will our freeholds look like they came straight out of an eight-year-old's dream, or will there be restrictions on which cosmetics can be 
be placed in certain regions and how many different skins can be applied within a single freehold. Your guess is as good as mine on this. This is honestly my biggest concern and one of the biggest things the community has been asking about for a while within the whole cosmetic freehold building skin system. We are in a world that is meant to be massive and immersive and traveling by somebody's freehold that looks like this in a world that's meant to be immersive could really break the immersion for that player. Luckily, most of these freehold buildings aren't way out of their way in Fantasyland and look a bit more grounded, but a mushroom house or elven trees may look a bit strange in the middle of the Sand Squall Desert to any player passing by. So that's really something that I hope Intrepid clarifies in this stream, perhaps even showing us how these skins will be applied with a few samples may not be a completely bad thing to do. But otherwise, we will have to just wait until Friday to find out. But I am very excited for this because this is going to be the biggest system showcase that Intrepid has given us so far since Alpha 1, really. If you made it this far into the video, well, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up because you are definitely looking for your Ashes of Creation fix. Then drop a comment down below what you are hoping to learn from the Freehold system. And if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.